Hello out there, Soul Fire. Let me know you're with me. I'm going to share this a couple of places. Just comment, say hello. We're going to start with the full moon ceremony tonight. Hello, Katie. Hello, Sandra. And hello, Katie Justice. Logistics here. This will just take me a second. <laughs> and it took me a second just to kind of get going just because uh, I don't know if you all heard, but I got slowed down this week. I'm here for her, my session with my dear dude. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I love that. I love that so much. Good. Um, you'll enjoy that session for sure. So um, let me do this one more. And here we go. Okay, thanks for your patience, you guys. You know it takes me a second. So, fun week. Um, let's talk about this full moon in Capricorn and things that would be useful for you tonight. Um, sage or Palo Santo, some kind of energy cleansing tool. Um, your paper or notebook to write down the things that you're going to manifest. And also, if you want to use an essential oil, um, I'll, I'll call in an essential oil uh, at some point during the ceremony. So if you want to grab any essential oils, um, there were different ones listed, but whichever oil calls to you is fine because it's going to give you the properties you need. But like lavender being very, you know, calming or patchouli being very grounding. So, um, and I'm actually using, uh, well, I thought I was using something different, but Spirit says, <laughs> Eucalyptus uh, is what I've got right here. I thought it was something else. So, extra thirsty. All right, so this full moon in Capricorn, you know, it is really bringing out uh, those things that are no longer serving us. Those things that we've been wanting to let go of, this is like pushing it out. Not to mention that we're in um, another lunar eclipse. Uh, which is intensifying that and also uh, intensifying a lot of the ascension 3D energy that we've been feeling. So so we are ascending a little bit further. So the energy is intense and um, and let's let's let those things go. So today I'm not going to have you write down what you're letting go of. Um, we're actually going to walk through that in the meditation is what I was guided to do. But we are going to write down the things that I want you to attract, not I want you to attract, that you want to attract, okay? So take a moment and start to think about the things that you're ready to pull into your life. We often get into mindsets where we're like, oh, I hate this. This is frustrating. This is happening. So we're kind of on this repetitive loop of um, complaining of things that can't change, even myself, you know? And I have noticed that when I am complaining, it's time for a change. There's something that I need to change. And change can be very scary. But we are in a time where change is coming very rapidly. So focusing on the things that you want to attract puts you in a different energy. It puts you in the energy of um, allowing rather than being on this loop of doing the same thing over and over and over, okay? So go ahead, take a moment, and write those things down. Um, grab any other things that you feel like you need. You shouldn't need uh, too much tonight. And I'm gonna write down a few of the things that I am attracting for this full moon in Capricorn. And if you're struggling to write down the things that you're wanting to attract, Think of the things that you want to let go of and what's the opposite of that. Sometimes that is very helpful, you know. Um, and to be, it's interesting, is to be open and, and specific but not limiting. So 
I work with people often where I hear like, I really want this job that gives me six figures. And I also want to be in this relationship with this really high vibe person. Um, plus I want one other thing, you know, plus I want this, the, a brand new car. Okay. And they're like, but if I have the relationship and I have the job, I mean, that's good enough. Don't stop yourself from what you really want. This isn't about being selfish. This is about creating your life. We have that power to create our life. So utilize this energy and just focus on what you want and then allow it to come your way. And for those of you just joining, we are writing down the things that we're attracting. Hello, Kim. Hello, Darcy. Hello, Julie. Hello, Michelle. Um, thank you, Sandra. I appreciate you. Sydney Lawson, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, good. Katie, go ahead and burn your sage for sure. And I'm going to do that in just a minute. Um, I'd love to donate for a couple of cards if possible with insight. I'm feeling these emotions. Okay. Um, and Sandra, I do have a telescope. That was a, a Christmas gift one year. I'm asking for clarity and growth. Ooh, abundance in all forms. K. Michelle Lewis. That's awesome. Um, K. Michelle, good to see you on here. Yes. Call in all forms of abundance. I like that. And, and that's such a great way to put that, uh, Katie and, and, uh, and, and K. Michelle, like abundance in all forms. Abundance, you know, that just tells you like I'm ready for, for more to come and I'm ready for, to allow that to come my way. So it just opens that door. I'm extra thirsty tonight, y'all. All right. So you can continue writing things down. I'm going to get my sage and my Palo Santo, and I'm going to burn these beautiful tools and bring in those beautiful smells. And for those of you who don't have these cleansing tools, don't worry. I, I set the intention that I'm doing this for you as well. Okay. So I'm going to set the intention that our energy fields are cleared, that our space is cleared. And that we call in all of uh, our ancestors. And we call in love and divine light and our spirit teams to guide us through this evening. Send my love and honor to all of the directions, to those above, to those below. And we welcome them. And so it is. Go ahead if you have your oil and just put a little bit, just a drop or two in the palm of your hand. And just rub it together. And then get close. And really inhale this oil deeply and set the intention that it's traveling down to your root chakra is what I'm being told. I'm just going to say heart chakra, so if you feel called to do heart chakra. Um, awesome, Erin. Good to see you. Yes, I will be doing those for sure, so hang in tight. Glad to see you too. Um, great. And pull that scent all the way down through your breath, okay? And I want you to go ahead and sit back, get comfortable, relax. You can lay down if you want to lay down. And I'm going to do a meditation and I'm going to do some drumming in that meditation. Um, and I'll guide you through the meditation. Those of you who have joined me before know that I'll guide you all the way through. So just close your eyes. Take some deep breaths in, letting those same deep breaths out. Setting the intention that on your breath in, you're pulling in 
beautiful healing energy. And on your breath out, you're releasing anything no longer serving you. Allowing it to leave in pure light. Allowing the drum and the moon to help guide it out of your pathway so it can serve its purpose elsewhere.
hear or feel. So know that you're doing it just perfectly. And as that sun comes out in your field, feel its warmth on you. And feel that gold light fill your energy field. Filling in any voids of things that have been released.
start to become aware of your space again. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes. And open your eyes when you're ready. Thank you for joining me for that. I hope you all got some good insight in your meditation. You can go back and journal this when we're done tonight and journal maybe what things came to you, maybe what things that did show up in your field and how they released. Was it like pulling weeds? Was it like seeing different colors? Were things more vibrant? Was it dark? Things that, that show up for you and you may even know what that connects to for yourself. And also, those things that you've written down. You know, you don't have to focus on those each day. You can read them maybe once a week back to yourself. Just really feel what it would feel like to have those things, okay, to call those in. Um, just making sure I have everything over here. Um, and, and then just let it go. Let the universe do the work. You know, let go of those things. You don't have to focus on did it release or is it coming. Just know that it will. Know what it is. Don't worry about how or when. Okay, so that's a really good manifesting tool. So um, let me check in. Do you have any questions about the ceremony? Um, let's go ahead and burn out. I have so many tools over here. That's why I keep looking down. I'm like, I have so much stuff. What am I using? Um, let's go ahead and burn a little more sage and Palo Santo just to kind of uh, close out our ceremony piece and ask that those things that we have released be released with grace and ease. And we send so much gratitude for those things that have served a purpose in our life. And we thank our ancestors, the directions, those above, those below, and our spirit team for being present with us today and for allowing us to set our intentions together. And so it is. Um, I did see a comment, Darcy, I burned some Palo Santo last night and we'll do it again today. Yeah, you can do that every day. Um, Darcy, I will pull a card to give you a little um, insight. These emotions that you're feeling are likely linked to this full moon and cycle is what I hear, okay? And then I hear I'm on the right path and divinely guided, okay? There's a lot here when I said cycle and then I pulled over this card. This has to do with your uh, cycles of your womanhood changing. So I don't know where that is on a change cycle, but it feels like a hormonal kind of change. So it could be that that is amplifying some of the things that you're releasing. So it feels a little bit more emotional, but allow yourself time to release, time to recharge, time to take care of yourself. And also, and this is for everyone, you know, the full moon is a great time to wash your crystals, rinse them under cool water, unless it's selenite or desert rose, don't put those two in water. I think there's one more. Um, but the others put in cold water and then put them out where the moonlight can touch them. So that helps to cleanse your crystals. But also for you, Darcy, like in general, cleansing with the moon and allowing those emotions to flow like we talked about in that meditation is going to be really really helpful okay all righty Aaron Smith I think you're next let me just double check uh, that I didn't miss any messages up here if you all are wanting a card reading I'm gonna go ahead and jump right on into those tonight uh, okay okay um, Aaron Kelly Smith okay Let's see what I've got for you tonight. Uh, Darcy, I just got I got your message. I think I think you will like the number I sent. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, healthy boundaries keep me centered and balanced. Um, Aaron, you've been trying to do a lot at once. Okay, 
Um, you've got your hands in a lot of different places. There's also a a lot of blue and purple here, which for me are throat chakra, throat, throat chakra, which is a voice. And, and there's a lot of uh, judgment that hangs on in this area, but also like spirituality. So I feel like you have been really opening up your spirituality. Meditation is very helpful for you. Um, and also letting go of some old patterns, but slow yourself down. You don't have to be constantly going to make money is what I'm, I'm, I'm hearing. Like you, you are working your butt off, but this feels like slow down a little bit and, and reap the benefits of what you've sown already. Okay. So your garden must be doing really, really well. So, um, let me know if you have other questions about that. Hope that resonates. So let's see. Um, Julie, I'm so glad. Jennifer Marie, you are welcome. K. Michelle, thank you for joining. Um, Sandra, you are welcome. Katie Justice. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad you liked it. Uh, good. Just looking through your comments. Okay. Katie Justice, you're welcome. Um, Kim Wilhite. Okay, I have got a card for you. And we're getting to some of these readings down here. So, what do I have coming up that I could talk about when I'm doing cards readings? Oh, I've been doing some really neat cuddle therapy things, y'all. It's pretty cool stuff. I um, and I'm hoping to do that with some couples. Really good stuff. It's been really powerful to open up some vulnerability. I've been doing some really cool healing with my Reiki, my Adina, um, energy healing from the stars, crystals my drum. I love bringing my drum into my healing. Um, and if that's something that you're looking for when you schedule with me, please reach out to me first because to do my drumming kind of in a different setting. So just something to keep in mind. Um, Aaron, you're welcome. Thanks for popping on here today. And of course I'm doing virtual readings. But I, th I think that's I think that's most of what I've got going on. Uh, ju just so you all know, I am doing a couple of new-ish things out there and they're unfolding uh the, they should all unfold um by august uh, i'll have my rebranding relaunch so okay T -t -t. okay so kim wilhite i've got a card for you misha lay i'll have you next gen for marie i will have a reading for you too um i'll just pull a card for you that's how it works just let me know you want a card and i'll pull it so i'll uh, pop that out for in just a second and then we will, um, oh, Darcy, I'm glad that made sense. And Sandra, I see your message too. Okay, let me start with you for it. Kim Wilhite, um, my home is a sacred space full of beauty, inspiration, and protection. Feels like there are some things that you need to go through. Like it feels like I'm getting cluttered or things like are piling up. I have things to do. And it feels like needing to get some things out of the way so that your energy is clear. Um, and so find that really helpful of the things that need to be let go of in your home. It's, it's a reset. You've got some things that um, don't serve you anymore. They don't make you happy. And you can let those go, but they feel like sentimental. So sit with that and see what needs to kind of be released. But it feels like decluttering. Getting rid of some things, okay? Uh, Misha Lay. Conscious eating nourishes me. I see you roll your eyes when I pull this card. Like, they show me, like, I don't know if you've been trying to eat better or don't find it. They're saying, like, you don't enjoy it. It, it. They make me feel like cooking doesn't, it's not exciting for you. But it does maybe looking at some better options, than what you have been doing. Like trying to, to switch into that high vibe, whether that's going from like more of a processed food to more of like cooking, you know, whole foods, or if that's going from like regular produce to like organic, but know that they're wanting to guide you more into a high vibe and it's gonna help your body and it's gonna help your stomach because they're showing me stomach issues. So I don't know if that's you or someone in your family, but this going to a more, uh, natural using more fruits and vegetables and also getting rid of more processed foods is going to help okay thanks for jumping on all right jennifer marie and then i do see your message katie i will come to you for sure 
Movement awakens my creative spirit. And I just want to say, Jennifer, look at that moon, how big it is. Like it is going to, the moon cycles feel very intense for you. So if you find that during your cycle or during your moon that your energy, uh, they say energy spikes, but it almost makes you feel like I'm going up and feeling amped and then I'm crashing. Like uh, that is something to, to pay attention to. And what they're saying is to balance that out is just to check in with yourself each day and see how you're feeling. Like you need, you need, you do need a flow. A flow is very helpful for you. Um, and also being able to go with the flow is, is very helpful because if you've got so many things planned, it's hard for you to slow down and stop and see what needs tending to. So, so definitely pay attention to the emotions and the energy going on astrologically that, that can affect that. And your cycle, you're the second person I've had to talk about cycle with. All right, my females. We talking cycle today? Full moon cycle starting. Okay, Sandra. Let's see what card I have for you tonight. You guys, I may be switching a couple of my Saturday nights to Sundays just because I have some events coming up. Um, we've got a, a woman's retreat coming up. Um, great healing retreat. So if you're interested in that, let me know. That's a, that's a very small select group. Um, so just know that I may have to switch some of my nights and uh, it may just be on Sunday like it is tonight so that everybody can enjoy the 4th of July last night and I hope that you all did have a wonderful 4th. Sandra, I forgive and let go with love and ease. I love these cards. Look how beautiful. This is a heart opening type move is what I get the sense of like needing to like really stretch this out, maybe even putting a block on your like one of the yoga blocks like on your upper back and kind of opening this up, really rolling your shoulders back and really just opening up that heart and tuning into it. Because what I'm being told is some of the messages coming through, let them drop into your heart chakra to see if they resonate with you. Because some things you're second guessing and you're throwing out and you are getting some messages and some clarity. So I would expect over the next week or two, I mean, I'd say two, but that you're going to get some clarity on your next step and where you are and what you're wanting to do. So just pay attention and don't throw away the thoughts that come in. Maybe write it down and come back to it or make note of it, but don't dismiss it. We can easily dismiss our thoughts or things that pop in, but that's how we get a lot of our messages, okay? Katie Justice. Okay, let's see. Katie, I will be doing your reading. Julie Lewis, I got you. And oh, and the moon deck. This, these cards are the moon deck. They're so pretty. They have their own Facebook page and Instagram page. I couldn't help myself. Uh, so I ordered them and Darcy was saying she's got hers coming too. So Katie Justice, Julie Lewis, and Kay Michelle. I will be right with you all for sure. Okay. Um, Katie, why, I don't know, it was like I started to shuffle for you, and I heard like, one, two, three, so it feels very playful, it feels very childlike, I don't know if you have a child yet, but it feels like a, like a boy, like a son, just know that that came up, but let me pull a card for you, and see where that goes, I, it's not fitting for me, like where that fits in, just know that that has come up. I craft my core desires with certainty and ease. You've got a real magical side, Katie, and a true um, essence to manifest easily is, is what I'm hearing. So I want you to be very cautious about how you speak to yourself, how you speak to others, how you speak about things, because things manifest very quickly for you. So be careful of your words, what we talked about in the beginning, like instead of focusing on what's 
not working and focusing on what is working. So really having your, your words in a positive sense and helping those around you to have that as well will be very helpful. But just know you manifest quickly. So using the I am, I feel, I have are great ones instead of like the, the negative connotation of like I uh, I don't have, you know, that kind of thing. And also, like, I wish, I need, I want. I want to try to, like, sweep those back a little bit and use I want, I am, I have, not I want, I have, I am, I feel. So so that, that will be very helpful. But, yeah, you manifest quick, so watch your words. Oh, good, Kimberly. I'm so glad that you like the uh, meditation. All right, Julie Lewis. Let's see what I got for you tonight. Oh, love when the same cards come up. I am on the right path and divinely guided. And what I'm seeing, Julie, is that there's been a lot of emotion. There have been lots of ups and downs. It feels like there's been um, a cloud at times over you. Like, when is this going to move? And I just want you to know that it's, they're telling me now, now, now it's moving. But you have to believe that. Don't keep focusing on what was or what had been happening. You've got to let that go and let the universe allow it to open. It's not going to be perfect. It's never going to be perfect. But if you can breathe into some meditation, um, it would be very helpful for you to recenter each day, even if it's a minute or five minutes each day, you know, and allow yourself to recenter and it's going to help your response. Okay. So I know that things have been emotional, but this will be very helpful and just look for, look, make a gratitude journal. A gratitude journal will be very helpful for you too. But also when you start to think about the things that have happened, acknowledge them, but then be like, those aren't serving me. I'm ready to let those go so I can make room for this new piece coming. Okay. Um, and be patient with yourself. Emotions are good. Emotions are a great flow. Let those flow out for you. Okay. Oh, Jennifer Marie, I froze. Okay. Will you send me a message, Jennifer, and tell me what card I pulled for you? You, I think it was the hand in many places, but if you could remind me what card I pulled for you, I will, I will see what happened, where, where that is. Um, and I may need you to private message me that. We'll see. Um, okay, K. Michelle. I'm sorry I froze, Jennifer. All right, Miss K. Michelle. Movement awakens my creative spirit. And they're telling me, like, you're sure not sleeping on it. Like, you, they're showing me that you're very energized and very excited. And, and, and they're also saying, like, there's more energy coming. Okay. So, and they're also showing me, so I don't know where, because they're showing me too, where I talk about seeing you excited and seeing you amped up. They're also making me feel like you've had some moments where you're feeling exhausted or tired. So just know that this is that time that energy is ramping back up. You do need some time to, to rest and slow down just a little bit. It feels like you're doing a lot each day. Um, but just know that you're not sleeping on it and there's a lot of sacral healing with that creativity um i'm also hearing creativity um yes sexuality hangs out in there but there's also like almost like a, a tuning into the masculinity is what i hear so so that's really powerful but there's a lot of happiness and they like want you dancing and moving and and really uh, going with the flow of that um, and not feeling like you need to contain yourself in one spot. Um, I hope that resonates. Let me know. And uh, thank you for popping on here tonight. All right. So you guys, I'm probably going to hang on till nine tonight. I, I thought I was going to hang on longer, but I, I did a good, I did a little injury this week. Y'all, if you don't know me, I'm, I can be a little clumsy. <laughs> So sitting here, um, I'm not super, super comfortable, and I may just not be on quite as long tonight, but uh, but you know I'll be back, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, let me see who's next, though. Kimberly. 
Kimberly Trice, good to see you. My instincts keep to me adapt adaptable in the face of an obstacle. You cannot be lied to. Your gut instinct guides you well. And sometimes you second guess it because you want to trust people. But just know that you, your intuition is spot on. And if you feel like something's off, then you need to listen to that. You don't have to hang on in situations that aren't serving you any longer. You can let go of people even if they, if you love them, you can still let them go if they are not in your best interest. So I want you to pay attention to the people around you that you may need to let go of a little bit, but also know that your intuition is right. And it comes to me in the sense, almost in the sense of being in a narcissistic relationship, they're showing me my example. I'm not judging. They're showing me my own. So being in a narcissistic relationship and you say something and the other person's like, you're crazy. That's not true. And being like, well, okay, maybe I'm, I'm not, you know, maybe that's not true. And I just want to encourage you to listen to your intuition. I'm not telling you to start an argument. I'm just telling you to tune in and listen to yourself. Okay. Thanks for jumping on. All right. All right. Christine Annette Fuston. Fuston. I hope I pronounced that right. I am, I am of the earth and in harmony with nature. And, and, and we are in harmony with nature if we allow it. And what I want to encourage you to do is to Step outside sometimes. What they're showing me is there are times of wanting to stay in, to stay secluded, to almost like a depression. And it's like step outside and get in the sunshine a little bit. And maybe the next day you go for a mini walk. But getting out in nature, the trees are really good at helping us process energy. It helps it just flow really well. It's like it's just flowing. So it helps release some of the the nonsense, the things that are going, it helps ground us in, it helps center us. So you're needing a little bit more nature and even like a hike would be really, really powerful for you if you can get out and do that. Okay. Kelly Gosling. Love and intimacy flow into my life effortlessly. And what I'm drawn to are the phases of the moon. Your energy is really intense right now. You've got a lot of grief. And there's also a lot of guilt and shame hanging on. And those aren't yours to carry. So I want you to set the intention today if you feel called to release with grace and ease with grace and ease with grace and ease y'all feel me um <laughs> to release the guilt to release the shame to release the guilt and here's what i want you to remember it's going to release and it's going to release feeling so it could feel sad but just because we feel sad doesn't mean it's the end of the world. It can be very intense, but when we process it and we let it out and we forgive ourselves, it will heal. So be patient. Be patient. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Oh, Katie. Oh, good. I love, love, love that you have a son. Thank you for clarifying that. Uh, let us see, let us see. Katie, I would love to hear about your magic soon. Robin Tanzel. I'd love to pull a card for you, Kimberly. I'll show you all. Um, okay, it was the full moon card, um, which had to, uh, let me make sure. I'm talking to, sorry, for a second, I'm talking to Jennifer Marie. 
There were two full moon cards. There was one with movement. Will you shoot me um, a message and I can kind of tune into that again, if you don't mind. Uh, just private message me. That'd be awesome. And I'll, I'll pull the two. That way I don't spend too much time doing that. And I'm, I'm glad to do it. I, I'm sorry it cut out. Okay, Robin. I forgive and let go with loving ease. And I'm seeing a frustration, and I'm really drawn to the flowers around this blossoming and seeing the way that you are blossoming because you've been through some big shifts in the past six months with your own personality. And I don't know that we've actually talked about that piece. Maybe we have. I don't remember. But it feels like really discovering and stepping into your power and starting to realize that you do have wants and needs that you need you need met and that you do we I know we've talked a little bit about this but that you do want to be happy and excited and it feels like you're living kind of in like hanging half in and half out of a well and these blossoming flowers there's a lot of new stuff coming so be alert look at your past don't be living all the way up here um, in daydream world although I love to live in daydream world that's where I live most of my time I need to bring it back down to earth sometimes but what I am saying is to be present because there are things showing up in your pathway that are blossoming that you're going to notice that are going to be very useful over the next couple weeks okay so just be paying attention around for things that come into your pathway that you may need for personal and work Okay, they say people, Robin. People, there are a couple people you're going to meet. You may know them already, but they are going to be very helpful for you. Julie, I'm glad that made sense. Um, so grateful. Okay, Sydney Lawson, I would love a reading with your time. Christine, you are welcome. Okay, Michelle, so welcome. Oh, Katie, he's foreign, extremely playful. I love, love, love that. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Um, he brings a lot of love and light, it feels like, and excitement and joy. It shows me, they show me you being very, um, like, laughing a lot. So that's beautiful. Okay, Sydney Lawson, let me see what I have for you today, sweetie. Um, I allow stillness to heal and reveal. And I get the feeling that it's hard for you to sit with yourself. It's hard for you to get bored. Me too, me too. But it's hard to actually sit and do nothing and be with yourself. It's an uncomfortable feeling in your body. And that's a lot of things that I've been healing for myself recently. It's very difficult, but it's showing you ways to learn how to love yourself. To see the great things about yourself. To slow down and see the value in yourself. Everybody else sees it. But now it's time to heal, forgive, and love yourself and work on yourself. And ask for help where you need it because you've got a great, great, great support team, okay? Okay. Hi, Christy Forrest. Kelly, you are welcome. Uh... Uh, let's see, Robin, you're welcome, and I love talking to you too, and Christy Forrest, I would love to pull a card for you. Thank you for you guys that have jumped on tonight for these readings. Um, I've mentioned a couple things that I'm doing. You know I've still got my virtual sessions that you can find at jessicatansel.com. Um, doing some drumming, couples healing work. If that's something you're looking for, please reach out to me. I'll uh, it's probably better to book with me one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then uh, women's retreats coming up. Very, very intimate group. And some new things coming. Some new things. Uh, maybe Chrissy Force and I might, might, might have in the works, right? Okay. Um, play is my pathway to joy. And I see you laughing is what I see. Like, ha! Ah! Um, and, and feeling... Uh, the the need for more play but it feels like for me like feels like you're happy and you're content but it feels like there's stress or overwhelm on work 
like work trying to get things kind of movement that momentum going and needing a little more playful time with it and just know that that balance of the playfulness and the work is going to it is really going to level out but you may have to set that intention for that now like I only want to work three days a week or I want to work four days a week or almost like here's my intention even though it may shift and flow I always want to allow room for things to change and flow and I feel grateful that I have that but it feels like you have that it just may be that you need to uh, maybe set it so you can have more fun so you know when your time off is that kind of deal but really being playful and also doing something um, and I, let me show you the card one more time doing something that makes you feel sexy so maybe like the you know how they had the they have the aerial silks or doing some kind of dance class or getting out and just putting on something that makes you feel sexy but stepping into that power and really finding that that sexy piece that you can shine in because it, it's time for you to really feel that about yourself again are the words that I hear okay um, thank you thank you for jumping on here uh, and thank you all for joining me tonight um, and I hope that you all have a magical week be patient with yourselves in this full moon energy allow the emotion to flow allow yourself to let go and also be excited for what's coming and if you um, are have already um, if you are subscribed to my page I will have magic Monday out tomorrow Thank you all so much. Have a great day.